Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today I'm going to be talking about Audrey Hepburn's skincare routine and I'm going to be trying her skincare routine for an entire week. And before we jump into that, let's get started and talk about the products that she used. So Audrey Hepburn embodied the ideal of an everlasting beauty icon. Her beauty is still wanted 50 years after her peak with amazing bone structure, radiant complexion, doe eyes, and the beautiful full brow. Her on-screen presence was mesmerizing in films like Roman Holiday, My Fair Lady, Sabrina, and Breakfast at Tiffany's, cementing her place as one of Hollywood's most iconic and celebrated actresses. She was not only a dream to see on television, but she also had a lovely personality and lived to help and inspire people. Her laid-back attitude toward fame was pleasant and it just added to her likability. Audrey was a one-of-a-kind combination of class, talent, and stunning beauty that made her not just a great actress, but also a good person. And Audrey says, I'd make a fortune if I had beauty secrets, but I know what works for me. Good health, a lot of sleep, a lot of fresh air, and a lot of Estee Lauder. So Audrey Hepburn used Estee Lauder, and she was notorious for her secrecy when it came to her beauty routine. However, it is rumored that she was a lover of Estee Lauder. She says she starts and finishes her day with Estee Lauder, and she once wrote this on a postcard addressed to Estee Lauder. Although we don't know exactly which Estee Lauder product Audrey used, there's a good chance she possibly used Renutrieve earlier on. This one was launched in 1956, making it a classic now. And Renutrieve is ultra luxurious, made with the best ingredients, and is filled with collagen for smooth contours and black diamond truffle to give the skin a boost of energy and luminosity. For a beautiful complexion, use it both day and night. So I ended up buying this vintage Estee Lauder set, and it was for their 75th anniversary, and it's all of Estee Lauder's like best-selling products and this beautiful original packaging and it really reminded me of Audrey Hepburn and I knew Audrey loved Estee Lauder's and Audrey also loved Estee Lauder's night repair serum and this one was first introduced in 1982 and this was like very innovative at the time and basically the first serum like this and the texture the recipe and the technology of this product are, are all unique and very original even to this day especially when it first came out the advanced night repair set the standard for skin healing and it continues to do so today this product is still a bestseller by Estee Lauder. Audrey Hepburn used Estee Lauder all the way up until her death and she says, I start my day and finish my day with Estee Lauder, especially with the famous serum Advanced Night Repair, which was created in 1982. So Estee Lauder started in the 1940s. This year it makes it 75 years old and we're going to look back at some of the pivotal moments in Estee Lauder's history. So the 1940s and the 50s were the starting point of Estee Lauder cosmetics. 1946 is the introduction of four unique items. Estee Lauder launches her own beauty line with four products including an all-purpose skin cream which she sells at Manhattan beauty shops after offering free makeovers and demos. The first department store placed an order for Estee Lauder in 1947 and by 1952 Estee Lauder understands the importance of word of mouth marketing decades before social media became the norm. And Youth Do Sensation was launched in 1953 Estoderm Youth Do Cream, which contains one egg in every jar, is the company's first major product and wins the editor-in-chief of Harper Bazaar's attention, ensuring its success. It's so crazy to think there was an entire egg in a face cream. Estee Lauder adds Youth Do Creams, lotions, and powders to the Estoderm range, and also the now famous Youth Do Bath Oil. Youth Do becomes a sensation and Estee Lauder transforms into a multi-million dollar enterprise that also includes scent. In 1956, Renutrieve is launched and this is the first company to launch luxury skincare. Renutrieve blends 25 of the world's most valuable components of the most cutting edge scientific breakthroughs of the time. And Estee believes that her consumers will want to splurge on the best at any cost. Renutrieve proudly advertised an unheard of price of $100 $115 a jar and I can only imagine how much that is back then if you think about what $115 could buy you in the 1950s. In the 1960s, Estee Lauder was really in the social scene. While creating their beauty business, Estee and Joseph Lauder interact with notable figures of the day such as Betty Davis, Joan Crawford, and Grace Kelly at famous parties and banquets as well as charity events. So she was definitely in the scene. 
And here's some more quotes by Audrey Hepburn. She says, I'm a big fan of manicures. Overdressing is something I believe in. I believe in primping and lipstick at my leisure. Audrey Hepburn was always perfectly primped and groomed, and she loved skincare products, and she also thought that flawless skin could never be reached just via the use of makeup. Erna Laszlo, a vintage Hollywood cult favorite, also had a place in Audrey's vanity. Her favorite soap was the organic sea mud soap, which was 97% natural and, and kept her skin clean and shiny. A simple steam facial twice a week to effectively clear out pores was another trick she did to brighten her skin. And she says, if you want beautiful eyes, search for the good in others. If you want beautiful lips, use only kind words. And if you want poise, walk with certainty and you're never alone. Audrey's beauty genuinely shone from the inside out. Her signature look was flawless skin with a peachy highlight to give her a slight flush. Her eyes, on the other hand, were the center of attention. Audrey wore her immaculate winged eyeliner with doll-like lashes almost all of the time. Alberto Rossi, her makeup artist, is famed for using a pin to separate each lash, giving her lashes that fluttery appearance. And Audrey was the first celebrity to sport a full young brow. Audrey was a true trailblazer when it came to the full brow. So now that we've talked a little bit about Audrey Hepburn and Estee Lauder, I'm going to dive right in and use her favorite Estee Lauder products as well as the Erno Lasso products for an entire week. So let's jump right in. Hello lovelies, so now I'm going to be filming Audrey Hepburn's skincare routine for a week and this is day one and I just finished filming Marilyn Monroe's skincare for a week and my skin is so dry. You have no idea just from doing her skincare routine so I'm kind of excited to try something new. But Audrey Hepburn also used Erna Laszlo and she liked the sea mud bar. So I'm going to use this to cleanse my skin and I just hopped out of the shower. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Erna Lazo Sea Mud Bar and wash my face. Definitely makes up quite a lather. And I'm hoping this one isn't as drying. So hopefully it's good. I'm just trying to figure out what it was in the Maryland one that dried out my skin so much. So I'm excited to get some moisture back into my skin. This one seems to lather up quite nicely. I'm assuming this one's probably good for acne. And I'm just gonna rinse it off and then I'll check back with you guys. So Audrey Hepburn loved Estee Lauder and she even wrote them thank you letters. And I got the Estee Lauder 75 year anniversary set. So I'm excited to use it. So I'm gonna start with the Estee Lauder Soft Clean Silky Hydrating Lotion. So this is the first step that you put on your skin. I believe this one you kind of just put on your palms and then rub it on your face or a cotton pad. Now I'm trying to decide which one would be better. And it feels really nice. I think palms maybe, because I feel like the cotton pad just absorbs it unnecessarily. And this feels really nice. And I just love the retro container. I'm tempted to like keep these. And then if I rebuy Estee Lauder, like transfer the products back in. And then I'm going to use the Advanced Night Repair Classic Serum. And I love the bottle again. I just want, I just think they should just make all their containers like this. Like, I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but I, these um, containers are better than the new ones, in my opinion. Night cream, and it has, again, a beautiful container. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face. I don't wanna take too much. I feel like that's a good amount. It looks like it's really rich and creamy. Oh yes, this is nice. Feels very luxurious, which I need right now. Again, the beautiful container. And this one looks like it's almost like a gel-like serum. So, rub it around my eye area gently. And that feels pretty good. So I feel pretty moist. So I'm excited to check back with you guys in the morning and see if my skin starts getting its moisture back after trying Marilyn for a week. All right, have a good evening and I can't wait to see you guys in the morning. Hello lovelies, so I had a pretty busy day. I got up at five, so I feel like I look kind of tired, but I removed my makeup. Now I'm gonna use Erno Lasso 
deep sea mud cleansing bar to cleanse off the rest of my makeup because I feel like there's a little bit left and lather my face and then I'll go into the Estee Lauder Audrey routine. So the first thing I notice about this is is it really messy. I have like mud all over my bathroom sink now and it's like splattering on the walls and stuff which is kind of a turn off to be honest. It makes me like only want to use it in the shower because it's like a really messy soap. It's like all over like I have splatters everywhere and I feel like I didn't even lather it that much. But it lathers up pretty good. And now I'm just gonna do a quick rinse. All right, so my skin felt pretty good today, like pretty soft and I'm liking how it feels so far. So I'm gonna start with the soft, clean, silky, hydrating lotion. I wonder if I should use a cotton pad or something because it comes up too fast. I feel like I'm gonna run into this problem. Advanced Night Repair. On my skin, I always wanted to try this serum. That's some, um, probably using too much, I need to be mindful. And rub that. Feels really good. I feel like my skin had like a nice glow today. Like even now, it's like shining. The night cream. And I really like the texture of this one. It doesn't really have a strong scent or anything. It feels really rich. and hydrating just on my skin. And I always make sure to do my neck. The Night Repair Eye. Put a little bit on each eye. So I hope this works well. I work background acting on a Hallmark movie tomorrow, so I have an early wake up call. I think I have to be there at seven, but I'll check back with you guys in the morning. I know how my skin feels, so have a good evening. Hello lovely, so I had a crazy day today. I just worked 14 hours on set of a Hallmark movie and it took place in New York City. And for most of it, I was a waitress, except now I like pinched a nerve on my left neck from holding the tray up with champagne glasses for so long. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Erno Lazlo bar. I already hate this bar, I'm not gonna lie, because I just keep splattering mud everywhere. It's like a huge turn off for me. It's notable that every time I wash my face, I have to like clean my sink and my walls from mud splatters. Maybe I'm just a messy person or something, but I feel like this is the type of bar that you should use in the shower. Because when I'm doing it over the sink, it just gets mud everywhere. So I'm just not sure if I like it for that reason. All right, so I'm actually really loving the skincare routine so far. I feel like it has some exfoliation factors to it because I notice it just feels like my skin is exfoliating more and some of like my acne, not so necessarily acne, but certain like clogged pores and like blackheads have come to the surface in the last two days from using these products, which I thought was interesting. I wasn't expecting to have my skin exfoliate like that from using these and it feels really good and really into the hydrating lotion um i think i would definitely buy it again it feels really good on my skin and i feel like my skin has looked very glowing and radiant i remember looking in the mirror today i was like wow like i've noticed a difference in my skin like i feel like it has a glow to it i didn't really necessarily have that when i was doing a marilyn monroe's routine so I'm really impressed with the serum too. Like I would definitely rebuy the serum. I mean, the serum is like one of the best selling serums in the world. So there's probably a reason for that. And it's like a cult classic. So I don't know, there's probably something to that. I've never really used it before. I think I may have gotten a sample, but it's only been a few days and I can already see the difference. And I just, I'm really liking the skincare routine. And I'm pretty impressed by Estee Lauder. I wasn't sure what to expect. And I feel like the price points are definitely 
less expensive than Urno Laszlo. I feel like I definitely would buy Estee Lauder again. I love this night cream. I think it's really good too. So, so far so good with the routine and I can't wait to keep using it and I'm like excited about it now. Versus when I was doing Marilyn Monroe's um, nighttime routine, I like was kind of getting sick of it because my skin felt so dry and when something's like making your skin worse, you don't really want to keep doing it. But with this, I feel like my skin's actually getting better. So I'm excited to keep using it to see even like a month from now what my skin will be like. So I'm really excited about it. Anyways, um, I'll check back with you guys in the morning. I'm gonna go put a heat pad on my neck because it hurts so bad from holding that tray of champagne glasses. All right, see you tomorrow. Hello, lovely. So I just finished washing my hair and I got out of the shower. I only do that once a week. So now I'm gonna go through and try some of the skincare. And first I'm gonna use the Soft Clean Hydrating Lotion. I'm obsessed with this, to be honest. I've never used it before and I just love the sensation on my skin. I spent all day today editing a Marilyn Monroe video. It took me so long and I never ended up even getting dressed until later today. So I didn't even bother like doing my morning skincare routine and then I just end up taking a shower. So that's why I'm starting now. And yeah, this lotion is just so good. I woke up this morning and my skin felt so soft. Now I'm gonna use the serum, which I'm in love with too. I'm really impressed with Estee Lauder. Now I want to um, try some of their other products. I'm so curious. I noticed they had a cold cream on their website that looked interesting and some other face masks that I wanna try. Now I'm gonna do the night cream which has been amazing. It's this like really nice, thick, hydrating night cream. I try not to use too much, but definitely a decent amount to like really get my skin nice and moisturized. And I felt like yesterday too, like my skin had like a nice glow and today, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna continue on with the skincare routine. I think I love it. I just can't believe I waited so long to try Estee Lauder. And lastly is the eye cream which I've been loving too. And it's more of like a gel-like texture, but I feel like it works pretty well. I'm just gonna rub it under both eyes. And, and that is it. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm gonna go work on my computer. I still have some more prep to do for tomorrow's video. So have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello lovely, so I already washed my face and then the shower with the Erna Lazo soap because last time it splattered everywhere and I still need to clean out my sink and I just didn't want to deal with that tonight and I got some new pajamas, yay, there's a cat, I'm excited. Got them at Walmart actually today when I was grocery shopping. I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna be too warm because they're fleece, so I'm not entirely sure if I'll be like dying at night when I sleep. Anyways, I know that's off subject, I just wanted to tell you. Soft, clean, hydrating lotion. I'm still really into this. The only thing I don't like is the lid, how it's open like that and it spills everywhere. You have to be very careful when putting it on. So I'm still debating. Now I'm thinking, do they have other versions of this stuff? And I feel like it makes my skin really soft. And I don't know why I'm gonna try to go more gentle on my skin. I honestly never really thought anything of it, but to me it kind of feels good pushing down on it harder and just never even thought about it but I was talking to my friend about it and, and she mentioned like how when you get a facial they go really gently so I'm like okay well really soft on my face and gently rubbing the serum I don't know why I just like it feels like so I can make I don't know I just never thought about it but I'm making a conscious effort to be more gentle and I love this serum. I like all of these products so far, to be honest. And I'm dying to try. I know they have a cleansing cream, Estee Lauder. I saw it online. I love the eye cream. I'm just gonna put a gentle amount of that on. I just got my eyebrows waxed and tinted today. So that's why they look a bit more bold than normal. And um, 
once that one gentle and then lastly is the night cream but my skin's been feeling really good nice moisturized now let's put on the night cream and i love this night cream i find it very nourishing i like how thick it is too the day cream isn't as thick but i guess that's for a reason i know i saw that they had a whole bunch of day creams so i'm curious about the other ones now so i'm gonna put a little bit all over my face Okay, I feel like I'm already too warm in these pajamas, but it might be just because I got out of the shower. And usually I'm like a bit overheated when I get out of the shower, but it's cold out right now. It's supposed to potentially snow tonight, so I think it's a perfect night. And I like to turn down the heat in the bedroom. So I'm gonna make sure it's not too warm and then it'll be nice and cozy. All right, so I will check back with you guys in the morning. Have a good evening. Good morning lovelies, so today is the last day and I'm excited but sad but I'm going to keep using this routine because I love it so much and on a side note, on Sunday I got my eyebrows waxed and the lady ripped the skin off both of my eyebrows and the skin there and I'm kind of embarrassed. I put polysporin on it last night hoping that would help but it's like 5.30 in the morning and now I have to go to work and I feel like I look like a freak because I've been missing patches for my eyebrows. So if you saw that and you're wondering what the heck happened to me, that's what happened. So I'm going to start with the Soft Clean Lotion, which I'm obsessed with. And the ironic thing is, is when I was getting my eyebrows waxed, I told her that a few months ago something similar happened. And she's like, I've never done that before with anyone, don't worry. And then when I came home on Sunday, everything seemed fine. And then I woke up yesterday morning and I was like, what the heck is going on? It was so weird. Like I just, out of nowhere, my eyelids got skipped. So odd. Now I'm debating whether I even wanna get my eyebrows waxed anymore because I don't wanna be skipped. So I'm thinking maybe I should just get my eyebrows threaded instead, I don't know. I do like getting them tinted. I just can't believe this happened. Anyways, I love the skincare routine. And I was on the Estee Lauder website, the Canadian one. And I was on the Canadian Estee Lauder last night just to kind of um, have a look again. And I noticed this set is gone now. So I'm assuming it just sold out right away because it's like limited edition but it's not there anymore i feel like it was just like a fleeting moment maybe just a few days i don't know how long it was up before i bought it but when someone told me about it i went like almost immediately and bought it because i wanted to try it and i was like okay well i don't want to sell out so maybe it just sold out and now we're doing the day cream but unfortunately, yeah, it's gone. Unless there's people like hawking it on eBay now. I have a feeling people just bought it fast because it's limited edition and a lot of people are probably sitting on it and trying to like sell it again or something. But anyways, I'm really impressed. So far, my skin has been feeling really soft, really hydrated. Now it looks bad because of the eyebrow waxing mishap. But besides that, it feels really good. And I use the Erna Lasso soap again this morning, which I don't like because it's messy. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready for work now and I'll check back for my final thoughts this evening. All right, bye. Hello, lovelies. So today is the last day and my little eyebrow mishap is healing up okay on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face with the Erno Lasso. My least favorite part of the routine because it's so freaking messy. I find it a little bit drying too, personally. And it kind of comes up in a gray foam. It doesn't smell really. But it's supposed to be very deep cleaning. 
so I don't really mind it, but I'm not in love with it. All right, so this is it. I'm gonna do my final time of the soft clean lotion. Um, apparently this one you can use a cotton pad. That's what it's said to do, but I kind of got used to putting it on my hand and I feel like if I do it this way, it um, absorbs more and I don't have to use as much. I find the cotton pads like take up all the moisture. But when I put it on my hands, I feel like I'm getting more on my skin. I think you can do either or, but I really like it. I feel like my skin is feeling so soft because of it. And I think it smells really good. And I'm also excited because I really want to try some other Estee Lauder products now. And I love the serum. You can see why Audrey would love it too. And I bet when it came out for her, she was probably excited because it was such a new technology. And the serum has definitely stood the test of time, if you think about it. It's been around for 40 years, come 2022, because it came out in 1982. It's also crazy to think that my brother, born in 1982, is going to be 40 in 2022. Alright, so that's that. I mean, my skin has felt really good, besides like the mishap with the waxer. And I did have one little pimple here, but that was because I did an extraction and then it turned into a pimple. And I feel like these products really exfoliate my skin. I know the serum says night repair, but I've been putting it on morning and night. And I'm like thinking, maybe it's not necessary to do twice a day, but I kind of like it. Cause I know it is meant for night, but I just like doing things twice a day. Cause I've been doing the eye cream, the advanced night eye cream twice a day too. I mean, I don't see why not. Just put a little bit on each eye. And that is it for my Audrey Hepburn skincare routine for a week. I must say that I'm really pleasantly surprised with these products. This is kind of my first time using Estee Lauder. I've had samples in the past, but I've never like consistently used it for a week. And I must say that I'm really into the brand now. It reminds me of the Marvelous Miss Maisel. Something just so vintage about it. I just love walking by the little section at the department store. I don't know, it just kind of has a glamorous feel to it and I really like the products and I kind of like the logo and just everything about it and I just really want to try some more. I'm tempted to try their foundation, maybe concealer and some of their other skincare products. I know the Swiss Performing Extract is super old. It's been around for a while and I'm sure there's other ones too. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite Estee Lauder products are and which movie star you want me to do next. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, see you guys again soon. Bye.